Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host, Ali Hammer, and today we're joined with Mike, the founder and director of Mobediction. Mike, thank you so much for joining us today. Can you start by telling our audience a little bit about Mobediction, the platform you offer, and the customers you serve? Sure. Hey, Ali, thanks for having me. Uh, look, it's very exciting. Uh, Mobediction started roughly about 10 years ago. And it all started that I was working at a large you know, organization in a very you know, fancy role. And I said, you know what, well, I've got to do something nice and different uh, in my life. So I went it out and we started to build some really niche applications. Our first application being uh, the Wild About Whales, where you could you know, plot where the whales actually migrate in Australia, in the New South Wales coast. 10 years later, we still run the program. And Eventually, we ventured out into so many different niche applications, such as, you know, Shark Smart, for example, you know, tagged sharks detection, sending information to public in real time. Sydney Royal Easter Show, we've been running that for about eight years now. Um, so and so on and so forth. We actually built a lot of uh, myriad of digital solutions over time, and we manage it as well. Well, I love that Mobediction has evolved to include such a diverse range of options for your customers. And, you know, your company is so agile. It's really cool. Mike, in our previous conversations leading up to this interview, you actually mentioned, and you mentioned it previously, that you've been working with this, the Royal Sydney Easter Show for the last eight years. I mean, that's a huge achievement. So can you tell us a little bit more about your solution and the benefits to the customers around the Royal Easter Show? Sure. Uh, look, Royal Easter Show, it was almost like a dream child for me when I went to the show many years ago, you know, typically with family. And I, 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 I sort of thought about, you know, I need to create a solution uh, for the Easter Show. So uh, by way of a lot of meetings, we had customer research pretty much came back you know, from the client and said, families needed to see, uh, have utility based at the Easter Show, right? And while you're out and about at the show, you want to make sure that you know where the parking slots are, you know, if your tickets sort of, you know, uh, it takes you through a certain journey or no. And, and it's so important for you to have all the information in real time so that you make the most of the day while you're there at the show, right? And, and hence we built, obviously, we started off with doing the mobile app for the Easter Show, all built around utility, convenience, uh, you know, go up to the website and plan, you know, an SSO integrated solution where you create an itinerary and people are used to doing that, right? So a pre-planning tool. But then when you actually go and reach at the show, when you're out there, things are uh, different because it's busy. You, you obviously don't have time to look around and you want to find the right things at the right time. So if there is a big queue at the flying pig, for example, you want to know in advance. So, you know, whether it's you know, uh, picking up, you know, the, the, the chips on a stick or something, right? So we included all of these little, little things that let you enjoy the day uh, as in the planner tool. So it gives you an itinerary. Um, excitingly, over the few years that we've been working with the team at the Easter Show, now, uh, you know, come to think of it, we get to about the Easter Show, you know, started in 1823. And you know it's a massive show. You get close to about eight hundred thousand to a million people walk in the doors over a period of two weeks, right? So the infrastructure requirements, the kind of, I guess, the support you know my team has to offer, everything has grown significantly over time. We get about you know eleven million you know views you know uh, during the two weeks. We have you know servers churning rubber, right? Really. So my team previously, where we used to manage all this, uh, you know, on different servers and different setups, obviously we moved to my and then migrated everything to AWS a few years ago, and we added more functionality like uh, a custom map, for example. You're able to now walk through with a custom map, which gives you way of finding directions to your nearest event. So all of these features, and including social media integration, just adds to your value, right? It just adds to your experience of the day and what people expect. It's so interesting for me to hear about how your solutions impact end users on such a huge scale. I mean, I had no idea. I, I, did I hear that correctly? 800,000 people enter those doors in two weeks? Correct. The last show that we just went through, we also embedded some new technology working with a third party partner where we were doing real time monitoring of COVID safety, for example. We actually had a key monitoring system, so traffic control, where you were able to see in real time how many people were there at what venue. And we saw close to, I think it's about 828,000 people uh, walk into the Easter show this year. And next year is going to be even a bigger and better show. I think it's the 75th. 
incredible, incredible scale. Mike, can you share with our audience what AWS Graviton is and how you utilize this AWS service to increase performance and provide better outcomes for your customers? Sure. Look, our so at Moby Diction, we are a services and a platform business. So over the number of years, we've actually built a scalable platform called Moby Connect. And what that allows customers to do is customers are able to build modules or pockets of technology that can be implemented. Uh, sort of you, you roll up the features and you roll back the features quite easily. So they don't have to go through the pain point of designing, building, hosting, managing, and scaling it back, for example, right? So when we do that, for us, for every client that we work with, it's important to look at A, performance, scalability, and also the cost, right? Because you look at the Easter show, for example, for the two weeks period, you know, we run typically 14 EC2 instances, right? And, and we're talking about a large load placed on just one customer. Now, Graviton, obviously faster, and me personally being very interested in, you know, trying to move away, uh, the technology moving away from the Intel X64 to, you know, using the RAM processor, which, you know, obviously popular, you know, the, the iPhones, for example. So we tested this a few months ago on a, uh, a small couple of clients, for example. And clearly there's two benefits. One, we saw that the performance was close to 20% increased in terms of the end user experience. Uh, we were able to easily measure that. Second, obviously running a business, cost savings you know, is, is a big factor as well. And again, I call it a 2020. We're able to give 20% better customer service or customer experience with 20% reduction in costs. So Graviton now is being rolled, uh, Graviton 2, I should say, is being rolled out in all our different applications for mainly our Python applications that we run and our Java-based engine as well that we run as a whole platform. Well, it sounds like Graviton is a great option and very beneficial for cost optimization as well. So what's next for Mobidiction? We've heard a lot about what you've done and where you've come from. What's coming up next? So I think I mentioned to you last week, I was up at the Cairns, you know, it's a work-related holiday. Look, we, so what I tend to do at Mobile Addiction, obviously, is we try to solve you know, problems of a different kind. So niche technology, bringing out digital solutions to in customers or clients. Now, the next thing is we've started to use AI a lot in terms of how users are presented with, whether it's content or geotagged location mapping services or custom maps, all of that. We started to use a lot of AI, but now what we're doing is we started to embed mixed reality in it as well. So what that means, while well, not giving away too much, um, we're enabling our platform with uh, the next level interaction because look, reality is people are not sitting behind a desktop all day. They're interacting, they're out there, they're micro interactions, they're out and about. And it's not about measuring the last click or the last tap, it's measuring the customer as a whole subset, right? So we embed, we're embedding new ways that brands can put in front of customers engagement mechanics using AR, VR, which we've been trying using location services as well. So mixed reality, pretty much. Well, thinking ahead and all this mixed reality is so interesting to me and I really can't, sit, can't wait to see your 360 experience come to life. Finally, Mike, to wrap this interview up, at AWS, we personally are taught you know, to think big. It's one of our leadership principles here. So how do you encourage your team to think big at Mobile Addiction? I mean, it's evident that you do in everything that you've accomplished, but I'm interested to hear. Look, I think that's that's it's got to be in your DNA, right? It's got to be in your DNA that every day when my team rocks up to work or when they're actually trying to think about creating a solution, they've got to think big as well because here we are trying to look around the bend. Now they say you can't look around the corner, but running a business, you've got to be able to, you've got to be able to predict the future. You've got to be able to create a solution roadmap. And this doesn't happen if you're just doing your day-to-day -day job at work. You've got to go think beyond, beyond you know, obviously, you know, what's what's uh, the day-to-day -day routine. So I take, I take for example, I, I, I encourage the people to learn something that you're not comfortable with. Mm -hmm. I, I literally throw them in the deep. Now, just last week when we went up to Cairns for a holiday, the my team was underwater at the reef for three days, right? Obviously, some people are uncomfortable with it, right? But having said that, I encourage cross-domain uh, training. Uh, we have buddy programs. So for example, if someone wants to learn something new, they always can tap on a peer and say, hey, look, I actually want to work with you and, and, and shadow you. 
So thinking big is 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 D, is in our DNA. Um, solving problems of a very large magnitude for customer experience outcomes is another thing. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I also encourage people, junior staff members, for example, I get fresh graduates. We work with university groups, for example, the laureate group of universities work with ANA International. You know, I'm a judge on that. IAPCA, for example. So all these customer bodies, uh, in organizations where we're able to give back to the community as well. Mike, it's been so interesting speaking to you. I mean, like your journey from start, starting out with the whales and the sharks and the Easter show, I mean, you're covering everything. You're swimming in the reef at Cairns. Sounds like you got a pretty cool life. So thank you so much for sharing your journey, sharing, um, you know, about mob addiction. It's been really interesting to chat to you and we'll have to get you back on the show in a couple of months time. And I want to hear about all those things that you're working on and, and if they, if they, if they came about. So thank you so much. Thanks very much. Thanks for having me, Ali. See you, Mike. Thank you.